Welcome Extreme Home Arcade owners. This is a tutorial video on how to set up your active marquee for the first time. So from my desktop, I'm gonna do my right click. I'm gonna go into NVIDIA Control Panel. It's gonna pop up this menu. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're on change resolution. You have your TV and your active marquee. This might say something else, um, HDMI or something else, but this is your active marquee. What we're looking to do is change the resolution to 1920 by 340. So from here, I'm gonna to go to customize and you're gonna to wanna to create a custom resolution. Uh, make sure enable resolution is not exposed by the display is checked. Then we're gonna click that. And then from here, what we want is our horizontal pixels to be 1920 and our vertical lines to be 340. Uh, you can use this down arrow. Otherwise, if you have a keyboard connected, uh, you can just back up and type 340. Then from there, I'm gonna hit test. I was just gonna do a little test to make sure that it works. You're gonna hit yes, because we wanna save that resolution. So let's save that. I'm gonna hit okay now. And then now you're gonna have to apply it. So it's typically all the way up at the top. You'll see custom, then you see the resolution that you just made. I'm gonna click on that. And then all the way to the bottom right, you'll see an apply and hit that. And that's gonna apply those changes. And then from here, um, another step, um, if it's not, if your active marquee isn't filling in correctly, um, yours might be on aspect ratio and that's where it's not going to fill in. So make sure you have it on full screen and then you're going to hit apply again at the bottom right. And then that's going to change that to full screen. Um, one other thing too is make sure it should be on 60 Hertz, but just make sure it is if it isn't. Then I'm going to back out of here. Then I'm going to right click again on my mouse click. And I'm gonna to go to display settings. What we're doing here is just making sure that your active marquee is off to the top right um, on this one. And then you can just check too as well to make sure your displays are correct here. Usually you have it up at the top right because that's how it runs good with all our programs. Um, from here we can close out. Um, there is one other step that we can do. Um, there are actually two steps, sorry. The other step is gonna be to bring up that big box emblem on your startup. So from here, you go to your search on the bottom left, click that, or double click, sorry. And then you can hit up on your second joystick, which is R. I do that, and then I wanna go to the run app. And then from here, you're gonna want this shell semicolon startup. That's what we want. And if it's not showing, you can bring this window down and find it in here. And then you're gonna hit okay. Now that's gonna pop up this screen here. Um, I already have it in here, but it'll say uh, big box, um, big box startup with no marquee. Um, so you, what you wanna do is you wanna delete that, that startup one, and you're gonna go into launch box on your left on the file folder. And then you want this big box with startupmarquee.exe. That's what we're looking for. You're gonna right click, create shortcut, and then you're gonna take this shortcut and cut it. Oh, hit copy, I wanna cut it. And then we can just use the back arrow and that'll take us right back to where we were in that startup part. And then from here, right click and paste. Now that brought that shortcut here. So now from here, we can exit out and then I'm gonna start up big box on my desktop here. That's gonna do the startup. And then now we got that nice big box emblem up on the top there for the startup. One last thing that we can check on, I'm gonna go up down on my left joystick. It's gonna take that 10 seconds. There's one other setting. 
that we can make sure um, uh, that it's correct. So from here, I'm just gonna use my shift and player two or player one and player two to back out and get to this screen. And then from here, you can go to Omega settings. And then you just wanna make sure all this stuff here is what I have exactly on here. So 1920, 340, we want the marquee fill, the, the marquee vertical alignment center. Those are things we want to look for too as well if, you're, if your image is not fitting well. And if they aren't, you can adjust that to fit. And then when you're done, you'll just hit apply settings and exit. And you're ready to have fun.